are you feeling about today? Um, I'm feeling kind of uh, nervous. No, just a little bit nervous. Really, um, it's, real, it's a real honor. It's, it's, uh, it's a real honor. I'm kind of excited, actually. Nervous and excited, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> So how is this different from some of the other, I don't know if you want to call them competitions, but just the other performances that you might have done? Um, for the most part, uh, it's already, <laughs> that part is already done. Uh, all the competition stuff. Uh, it, it feels more, it feels closer to uh, a reading and I guess, yeah, so it's not, I don't feel like, it, I don't feel like it's a competition, but I feel like it's, it's a, that could be, it's kind of a thank you, it's like, thank you for doing the work in the universe, and so you get to read on stage here, so I'd, I'd much rather think of it like that, and feel it like that, than feel it like, feel it out as if it, if it was some, some kind of game, I slam, and I usually do slam, that's, that's a game, but uh, this is m much more, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little different. I don't know. Yeah. Cool. Always be late for tomorrow, but today you can trust me. 
I will be there for you today on this day, under this tree, under this sun, on top of this good soil. Today you will depend on me. Today I will carry you on my back. This shot counts. This is the one. Today is today. This afternoon. This afternoon you will lay in my lap and sleep. And I will hold you. I will hold you where you are the softest. I will kiss you and it will taste like salty. And that is how I will love you today. Today we break, fall apart at the fault lines like ceramic dolls. Today we break, we break today, we fashion our sharp, our cut, our burst, our bark, our break. Design ourselves a new web of mistakes. Build out of ourselves a city on the rubble. Remember me today. Draw me the cartographer's envy. Green, 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 plan me a life, you street runner, you lake swimmer. Run me down and catch me, swim me, swim the depths of me. Run me down when I am fast, when I am wearing winged sandals. Fashion me a quick silver collar. Run as fast as you can. Keep up. You can do it. You can love me today. You can love me today. Quick, quickly, quickly. Now, wait. Slow down. Because I'm tired. In the lacune, in the alveoli. The breathing place. I was wonderful there in that small place. I was wonderful and small and wonderful today. I was wonderful today. Today, which is, of course, the very smallest of all things. Today, we will make small ones, and there will be children, and you will be fat afterward. Don't worry about it. There will be children. I will fashion them from your shank bone, the long striding one, the marathon bone, and we will fashion them from my meats and spine, the delicate insides of your cells. We will collage them from articles, Harper's, and National Geographic's, and the black and white pictures of our families. We will build them out of Tagalog and Spanish and Portuguese, samba and salsa, and we will tattoo the name of every family member on their likenesses till they disappear under the weight of that ink, become Black, black, black like the inkwell black, moreno, pero moreno, and they will stain this world with the love of a stain. All the tomorrows of the pages of forever will shiver and rustle with clean anticipation. Today, it'll happen today.
I've been working with kids um, incarcerated in homeless youth for about 12 years now through Congo and other tournaments, cyclones. And I've learned so much. I, I feel like, I, I bet you, you understand, but I have a feeling many people might not, how much there is to learn from people who are in pain. The kids in juvenile detention. How's it going, Bob? It's going well. I just wish I had time to see more stuff. Mm. It's weird. You got all access, but you don't have any time. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Poor Bob. You know what? But here's the thing, is that people are smiling. I mean, literally, it's like this childhood joy. They're out on the lawn. Bye, gorgeous ladies. Bye, Shauna. Let's get to, yeah, let's get to their soup. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> this is Bye. this is sea roll right here. No, people are smiling. They're out on the um, on the lawn. They're riding bicycle rides. They're just having a great time, and that makes me happy.
Limerick, a new class of antidepressants is targeted at adolescents. They lose track of time, of meter, of rhyme. It's really sad. <laughs> I have a couple of poems. Kill, 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 kill. Jokingly, we think, but still. <laughs> American Idol. Alberto Gonzalez sang Texas Uber. You kicked you in the cock. What's that to Barack? <laughs> Escalation 2007. Georgie, Georgie, dressed in surge, waves his cape, two beasts emerge. One's called murder, one's called lies. They have a little baby, but the baby dies. Orgy, orgy, binge and purge, gobble up the widows, the generals urge. Condi's on a talk show, Cheney's out to lunch. Bones are served au gratin, crunch, crunch, crunch. Sometimes I give my students the following assignment. Take a comic form, a limerick or a clary or a double dactyl, and try to write a serious poem. Um, I, the tensions, I think, are interesting. So the next two, two poems come out of that idea, and the first one harkens back to the anthrax days. Snow nor rain. Piggly, piggly, name not released as yet. Handled the envelopes 20-odd years. Anthrax bacillus spores paid on delivery. Uh, I wrote that one back at the, the time of 9-11, and then this one I wrote just a couple months ago, and I'm, I'm not really sure why it was on my mind, but it's called 2001 Through a Glass Darkly. Hastert was plastered, Cheney was lit, just give me a minute, I'll fall down. Bush with a book, it's best not to look, trade center, jets enter, I'll fall down. And I'm going to end with a poem called Danger Static. It's a double A to Sedera, which means it runs A to Z down the uh, left-hand side and Z to A down the right. And there are a couple of potential obscurities, I think, in this poem. Um, the Lunatico Inquirendo is a uh, writ inquiry into the you know, soundness of one's mind. And um, a cosmic year is the time that uh, it takes for the sun to orbit in galactic rotation about 225 million years. So, danger, static. Arsenic in a blintz, bats in a belfry, caveats in a billet doux. Do you ever wonder how early men existed without TV? Fuck you, grubby advertisement. <laughs> hey, Helena Bonham Carter, hold me in your arms. I have a crush on you, Helena Bonham Carter. <laughs> Jury duty in Iraq, KKK in the A&P, Loss, diluted Tico Inquirendo. Meet me in Old Manhattan, near the abandoned oyster farm. Or better, go to hell, purgatory, paradise, and be quick. Question, did Horndog LBJ really have oral satori sex in a hotel bathtub? Tongues are wagging. Ugh, oof, vaporize me, water lord. Xanadu in ruins, cosmic year complete. Rub, dub, Zagreb, who cares, Yugoslavia. Thank you so much. <laughs>
second runner up is uh, Richard Gold. So you're saying that this was a good event? This is a great event. Take it. There's room with, uh, Ooh, within the literary uh, scene in Seattle for a poet populace. Wow. I mean, it stands. It can stand sort of among all the other programs yes. that exist. Oh sure. Yeah, there's definitely room for poet populace. And I think what's exciting about it is um, it's not like a poet laureate in that you know it's um, just nominated by a political official. Who you know, in some cases might not necessarily have a real appreciation of poetry and the arts. So what a nice opportunity to get to elect our own poetic representative. So what do you think about some of the criticisms that I've heard about the program, which is that it's sort of the opposite end of that argument, which is, well, just sort of regular folks shouldn't um, be able to define who should be like a poet that has any kind of official, even if it's an unofficial official role. You know, there's some criticism that, oh, it should be a panel that selects it at least, if it's not government official. What do you think about that actual well, popular vote thing? Um, I'm categorically against the idea that uh, you have to have any sort of, um, you know, degree, education, special knowledge to decide what type of art you like and what type of art is meaningful to you. I think that art is for, for people, and people should be able to decide what artists can represent them. Yeah, that was <laughs> so do you No, it is. Oh, okay. So I will go to the 